I am here to you today to speak to you about smoking. Why so many of us know we shouldn't, yet we still do. When I was preparing for this speech, I looked up endless facts and figures about smoking. And let's be honest, they're not that hard to find. They even print them on the box, replacing a logo with a picture of a blackened lung or a mouthful of ulcers instead of teeth. So I thought to myself, why would I come up here to you today and relay those facts when you already know them? When instead I could just tell you a story. A story about a man I once knew. His name was Terry. Terry was one of the 6.8 million smokers in the UK. Born in 1938, he was evacuated from his home to live in Southern Ireland and came back to Kilburn, North London at the age of seven. At the age 15, the age I am now, and the average age for a boy to start smoking, he started to regularly smoke. 10 cigarettes a day, not knowing the risks and consequences of smoking in the early 1950s. It's just what you did. Later, he married, and although by then already having developed a smoker's cough, he smoked 15 cigarettes a day. By 1980, he had two children, now knowing the risks and consequences of smoking, yet he smoked 20 cigarettes a day. 20 cigarettes a day, each one taking their toll. He thought about quitting many times, but it was always after the next box or after the 200 I've just bought at the duty free. But that's the problem with addiction. It's tough, it's hard to kick. The last one is never really the last one. The New Year's resolutions came and went, but it wasn't until Terry's first grandchild came along did he think about kicking the habit, making the change. Being told that he wasn't allowed to be around this grandchild for an hour after each cigarette made him think, made him change. After watching this grandchild grow up for a few years and another on the way, he decided he wanted to see as much of their lives as he possibly could. And against all odds, he did manage to stop. He was congratulated, he was praised, he had done it. After a lifetime of addiction. But it was too late. The cigarettes had taken their toll. The smoker's cough never left him. He developed a terminal smoking-related disease called COPD. Terry died before his time. So why have I come up here to you today and told you this story? Well, I was the first grandchild. I suppose this speech is more about choice. Gramps made the right choice, but too late. There will be smokers in this room today. When will you make the choice? Will it be when the damage is done? Maybe it will be when your kids or your grandkids come along. Or is the time now to make the choice in time? The Gramps did not.